All right. Man like Ahmed Mohammed, sincere and specific. Mm. Bang. What are you saying, G? Talk to me, cuz. What are you hey. saying, fam? All right, fam. The, the, the Somali maverick, as a cool man. You get me? Yeah. Because, <laughs> like I said, fam, the, the impression I get from man, it comes straight from the heart, straight out of the mouth. You get me? Little editing. I don't know if I'm accurate in that state. Only you know. Only straight you. Straight up, no filter, bro. Yeah, I love that. Don't love even that. doubt that, man. All right, then. <laughs> like, cool, man. Give, give me, like, a few um, other defining characteristics about yourself in relation to how you, how you operate when you're down at the corner. When I'm down at the corner, uh, to be frank with you, I try to keep it, I try to basically be as unbiased as possible. I try to be as rational as possible, regardless of how I may feel about a certain situation and trying to keep the information as, as logical as possible. That, that's, that's, that's my main aim. Yeah, why it's is It's about that? making sense. Okay. Because I think at the end of the day, logic trumps feelings, isn't it? Okay. In my opinion. Oh yeah. So ain't, ain't, you, never, ain't you never come across no information that's caused you to, to doubt that whether you, what you believed in was, was true? You know, this might shock you, yeah. This might shock you. Sometimes, I actually hope for that. Yeah. Seriously, sometimes I actually hope for that. The reason I say that is because, basically, to me, Islam makes so much sense. It's so straightforward, it's so logical. When I see people that just dismiss it, I try to understand where they're coming from. I actually try and put myself in their position and see how is it that I find it so magical and they can just dismiss it. Do you see where I'm coming from? Like, okay. what is their perspective? And the reason I'm saying I sometimes hope for, you know, for something to sh give me a bit of a shake is um, just so I can understand where they're coming from. Okay. Do you see where I'm coming from? To me, it's, it's just so solid. It's like, I'm looking at people who dismiss it, like, come with something at least. Do you know what I mean? I haven't heard anyone actually um, dissect the message of Islam or, or the Quran. So what you're so saying, so, you, so you're, you're not um, afraid, well, you actually welcome criticism then? Absolutely, absolutely. I of any kind, as long as I, it's genuine? I, 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 as long as it's constructive criticism, it is always more than welcomed. When you say, when you say constructive, what, what do you mean? Constructive, as in, uh, as long as it's not slander. Okay. As long as the purpose is to actually find out the answer to the question. Yeah, as long as the information is correct, as long as the question is relating to the information, do you see yeah. what I'm saying? Then, uh, yeah, it's constructive criticism. As long as it makes sense. That's, that's all I ask for personally, just makes sense. So how, how did you arrive at the decision that Islam is perfect? Because that's the sense that I'm getting. All right. All right. The way I see it, before you get to Islam, Christianity, uh, Judaism, any, any form of, of religion whatsoever, you need to genuinely have a belief in a creator, you personally. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I think when you genuinely have a belief in a creator, then when all those religions are presented to you, you can match your belief of that creator as long as it's genuine. Okay. And you can match the information that's provided to you. And then you can come to some sort of a conclusion which one you think, if any of them, which one you think could have come from that creator. But the issue I find that most people, honestly speaking, no disrespect to anyone, but I find that most people have a problem in a belief in God. When it comes to discussing religions, they seem to discuss it in a, like a, in like a cultural fashion. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Like, our people, we believe in this. Your people, you believe in this. The way I see it, I don't belong in any people. I think for myself. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, I, could belong, I could belong, quote unquote, in a certain group of people, but I could, I could agree with my enemy. Yeah. It, it's all about the information. And um, I, don't think, I don't think that many people are really that sovereign. 
Yeah. So how, so how, how did you um, even come to the belief in your in a, in a God then? Before like you had the like a, an, an Islamic perspective. All right, before I had an Islamic perspective, man, honestly speaking, I always had an issue with anything limited. Anything limited, I've always had an issue with. The way I see it. What do you mean, just generally? Or generally. Theory? Yeah, generally. Anything limited. Human beings, things, objects, whatever. Ev anything limited. Yeah. I've always had a problem with it. Because the way I see it, anything limited, its limit has been set. Hence why it's limited. When you mean set, you mean by like an external... Yes, anything limited, its limit has been set. Hence why it's called limit. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Mm. So... I've always insisted in my life, deep down, before I, anything to do with any religion, deep down, I've always insisted there has to be something infinite. Mathematically speaking, I can understand uh, something unlimited bringing about something limited. I can't understand something non-existent, like no thing. That's what nothing is, no thing. Yeah. No thing, and then... Boop, you got a limited thing with certain functions. I don't, I don't know how people come to that conclusion. I don't, personally, I don't think it's genuine. It's just to, you know, stare away from religion. Yeah. I think most people have an issue with religion. I don't think most people have an actual issue with, uh, with a creator. And Even what? atheists, they accept the infinite part, but this is where they contradict themselves. They'll say, all right, we accept that there is something infinite out there. We just don't accept that that infinite thing is conscious. And what they don't realize is by saying that, they're contradicting themselves because they've limited that infinite thing. By saying it does not possess consciousness, that's literally saying it's limited by definition. So their idea of whatever was the source of everything cannot be the beginning because it's limited by definition. So how, how do you tie that in now with um, Islam, specifically, and not any other religion, like, right. in terms of you? How did that fit? Like, that, that's the thing for me. All right, the way um, I tie And as that, you said, sorry, just, just to add that on, yeah. as you said, you don't really watch the, um, you, can, you can disagree with your own culture, as long as the thing is the truth, it's the truth, regardless of who it's coming from. Yeah. But I would take it that um, your background, like your cultural heritage, is mostly Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how, how did that connect with you? I, 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 was, I, was, I was born a Muslim. I was, there are certain things I didn't have a choice over. But at the end of the day, we all grow up and every single human being that is, I don't know, worth their salt should really like investigate their own path. Do you see where I'm coming from? Like, I don't like accepting anything that I haven't consciously yeah. agreed on. Yeah, so you had to come to a conscious decision to be like, this is it for me. I had to come to a conscious decision, yes. Yeah. I, I will admit, I was always comfortable with it. Yeah. I'll be very honest with you, I was always comfortable with it. But I was always a, um, I like to challenge anything and everything. Yeah. yeah. I don't like to be comfortable. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? So, and when, what, when what, I noticed what, what, that there were so many people with so many different views, yeah. I had to ask myself, why do you think you are correct? So, yeah, sorry to stick, stick up in there. Yeah. What do you feel drives that? Um, I would say curiosity to see if there's like a different way or you know oh um, in me yeah in me personally I'm, I'm, I'm what drives that curiosity I've always had an affection for 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 my maker do you see what I'm saying I've always had a belief in I have a maker and I've always had nothing but good thoughts about that maker yeah do you see what I'm saying so with that being said I've always wanted to do right by him yeah. So, we, yeah. Sense. Well, no, you are making sense. But what I'm trying to say is the reason I had to come to a conscious decision was in the beginning, it was handed down to me. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yeah. So even though I accepted it, I felt like, is it possible that I've accepted it because it's all I know? Mm. So for that reason alone, I don't like to limit myself. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Even, not only that, you got to understand, I, I want to discuss this with other people. 
Yeah. So, unless I am 100% certain in what I'm talking about myself, I don't want to put myself in a position where I'm preaching to you. Or I'm telling you this is correct. <laughs> Mm. And I'm not even sure it's correct for me. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, if, I, I, just, I simply believe in, you know, if you're going to say you're about something, be about it. Yeah. 